the chairman of the local government association has urged the Treasury to lift the cap on council borrowing in next week's budget, saying, councils need to be able to build again if the government is serious about tackling the housing crisis. Lord Porter, a Conservative peer and also a former builder, has written to the Chancellor urging him to let councils borrow to build new affordable homes in a move that would not affect the Treasury's coffers. During the Conservative Party conference, the Prime Minister Theresa May pledged a rebirth of council housing, with a pound 2 bn fund that councils and housing associations can bid for to build social and affordable homes. The cap on the amount local authorities can borrow has been in place since 2013. It means that councils are able to borrow against assets for facilities such as swimming pools but not to build housing. A change to this rule would not cost anything. However, it would simply give councils the ability to borrow against the unmortgaged value of the existing social stock that they own. Lord Porter said, now is the time to step up. Mrs. May said she wants us to step up, and we're ready to step up. Now we need to be given the freedom to be able to. The Prime Minister pledged to build a new generation of social housing in the Conservative Manifesto before this year's snap election and also held a summit on housing at Downing Street last month. The lack of council house building means it will be difficult for the government to meet demand, which experts put at around 300,000 houses a year. The last time more than 250,000 properties were built in England was in 1978, during which time councils built 44 PC of new homes. In 2016-17, just 1,840 homes were built by local authorities in England, and research by the Institute for Public Policy Research found that 92 PC of councils were failing to meet affordable housing needs. One effect of councils not being able to build homes is that they are able to replace only one-third of those sold off through right to buy, and the LGA has warned that this could grind to a halt. Lord Porter added, if we don't build, future generations can't have access to the right to buy. Lord Porter's intervention comes amid a row over the direction of housing policy between No. 10 which, with the Department for Communities and Local Government, wants a significant change, and the Treasury which is reluctant to pay for it. Some have suggested the government will simply tinker at the edges of policy. Last month, Sajid Javid, the community's secretary, pleaded with the chancellor to consider taking advantage of some of the record low interest rates and investing in house building. Philip Hammond swiftly rejected the idea. Lord Porter said, some people in the treasury still don't get it. I am hoping that the Chancellor isn't swayed by some of the bright young things around him who say it's only the planning system that's the problem with levels of house building. He added, now we have a Prime Minister who used her party conference speech to say council houses are a good thing, that's the first time that's happened in my political career. And if the Prime Minister wants it, and local government want it, and clearly the people want it, who would want to stand in the way of delivering that? particularly when it doesn't the cost the country any money.